So guys, I have the how I used to do my makeup video. I have been loving watching these, loving all sorts of people doing these because I I was going to do the how I did my makeup in high school but that wasn't that long ago because I'm only 21 but so I thought I would do four different makeup looks that I recall so from my very first introduction to makeup till like the last year of high school really because you know how I do my makeup now but uh, I love watching them because older YouTubers, I mean, if they were in high school in the 80s, like that looks so much fun. And uh, it just, it's great. It's nice to reminisce and it's nice to think what on earth we'll be playing at. But it's also nice to see how things have evolved and brands have evolved and uh, brushes have been involved because we didn't really use brushes. So my very first introduction to makeup, I mean, this is not including like, you know, rubbing mum's lipstick over my face or whatever but I have been in dance school musical theatre like ever since I was a dot so <laughs> like from the little running around the stage in a tutu from uh, stage makeup for lamies you know you know the whole drill so I am going to start with how I used to have my makeup for dance shows so for my dance shows every year or biannually would do a dance show and as I said I started when I was like age four or like however young they'd have me I think I was three actually and um up until I think this was up until age 11 or 12 so it was all done by your parents and we used to have our hair like all scraped back with hair gel in a scrunchie and it was a silver scrunchie so everybody looked the same so my mum used to do it and my sister had hers done as well because we both did it so you should apply some like pancake powder you know like stage powder um with like one of these bad boys so you should pop some of this on so that's what we're doing this is not the correct makeup brand because this is one of my favorite bare minerals powders but as you can see no primer is involved because what on earth is primer says you know 1997 actually no i'd be two so i wouldn't be asking well what's primer but uh you know what i mean so we just pop some uh some powder on so many brands i couldn't find um the products that i used to use so <laughs> we're just gonna have to go with what i've got but it would look something like this so we'd have some powder on okay and then the eyeshadow oh my good gracious the eyeshadow was pale blue so our dance teacher wanted every single person in the dance school to have pale blue eyeshadow now i don't actually own any nor could I find any when I went to boot so I'm just gonna pop on some white and then some darker blue and uh, I'm guessing she'd just do this with her fingers because you know righty also for eyes we would use a coal liner and just do, do a line just do do a line no, no over no liquid just a line not sure why but that's what we did so yeah and uh we just used well my mum just used whatever was in her makeup bag so i'm guessing my mum liked long com so i'm guessing it was it was something like long com we would literally just do this we would just have a line anyone else at like dance school or theatre school did you do this as well yeah this is what we did nothing done to the eyebrows may i add no eyelash curlers nothing like this just a little bit of random mascara again because it was all my mum's makeup it was probably long con because she loves long con tiniest tiniest bit of mascara and then we'd go on for a bit of blush so just have a bit of blush on oh my god the memories the memories are coming back and then for lips everyone would have a red lip so we'd always have red lipstick. And that is pretty much how I looked for dance shows. Uh, everyone looked like this. We all, you know, loved it, love it. And that, my pals, is the first look. High school, year seven and eight, which means aged like 11, 12, 13, depending on when you're born. We weren't allowed to wear makeup at high school. Everyone wore a bit, some wore a lot. I wore a lot 
in years like 9 and 10, which you'll see in a mo. But at this point, I would just wear the following. So I'd wear a bit of, a bit of Rimmel Stay Matte in translucent, because I'm very pale. Um, as it always was in high school, mine's cracked. I ordered it and it was already cracked, which is just perfect. And I'd apply that again with my little sponge friend here. I still got lipstick on my fingers and it's not going anywhere. Don't worry, it's not like bleeding. So I would apply some face powder to my little face. Getting all excited for high school. Little did I know. And uh, yeah, so this is, this is step one. I would put on some eyeliner, some coal liner in the waterline to make my eyes look as small as possible. Everyone did this. And then I remember when it came to people wearing liquid liner and they tried putting it in the waterline and it just made their whole eye black. Everyone wore black coal eyeliner in the waterline. So uh, I did as well. So let's do this. Oh, I haven't done this for so long and it feels weird. It feels weird. I'd literally just put on like as much as possible and I'd do it as well without like Pull it. Oh, oh, the pain. I'll do it without pulling down, but I think I might need to pull because uh, it hurts really bad. So it looked like that. There was nothing on the top, on the tight line, just like this. And throughout the day, it would just get smudgy and you'd look brilliant. So we did this. So there is my little liner. Let's pop some more on because during the day, like, I would literally whip it out and be like, wait, I can't even do it now. I'd just sit here and do this. And my friends would be like, what are you doing? Like, how can you do it without a mirror? But I'd just do that. Again, no eyelash colours. And we'd put a tiny, tiny bit of mascara on. And I reckon at this point it was, uh, like, maybe a Tesco mascara. Do you know what? I used to love the Tesco's own lipsticks and, like, lip gloss things. I used to think they were great. So, bit of mascara, nothing too out there. Like, really not very simple. Oh, what? I mean, I mean... I've got no eyebrows, literally. And then I'd go in with a lip gloss, and this, I definitely used a natural collection lip gloss, but I couldn't get hand, I'll get my hands on it. So this is just a random one that's hopefully gonna give the same vibe, but it was, it was just a, a lip gloss, like a pink lip gloss, and it was badly applied, and uh, maybe a bit something, a little sun like that. So, that is through year seven and eight. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. And then, through a period of time, when I was like, oh, do you know what? People are starting to do their eyebrows. So I'd say early year nine, I'd do exactly this, and then add eyebrows on with a brown eyeliner. Um, yeah, and I remember, so there was probably no logic to this at all, other than like, no brushing through previously, maybe just doing that. Maybe just doing that. I remember like, I used to do this with my fingers to like smudge it out. Anyway, so I remember, imagine going from this every day, like no eyebrow Becca, and then coming through to your dining, I remember experimenting one evening and then coming through to my dining room for dinner and my mum was like, oh, what have you done with your eyebrows? And I said, oh, nothing, it's natural. She was like, no, Becca, what have you got on them? And I was like, oh, it's natural, nothing. And um, <laughs> clearly there was something going on with those brows. And uh, yeah, so, and I was like, mom, it's no big deal. I hated when they used to pick up on when I was trying something new, but yeah, brown liner in the brows. So that was, uh, that's the second look of makeup that I recall. Also, did anyone else go through the, phase of when you pose like this for pictures what's that about and it wasn't like a hmm i'm thinking it was like not touching the face it was like a I, here is where things get a little crazy so everybody looked like this everybody looked like this in like year nine everybody and if you did not use this foundation in high school did you even go to high school really this is a maybelline dream matte mousse in light porcelain I wonder what the colour's like these days. I haven't even opened this yet. I ordered it off Boots. So uh, we shall see. But everyone used this stuff. And I wonder if it still has that smell. I used to think that this was really expensive. Um, okay, it still has the smell. Okay. Also, 
this was the time of foundation lips or concealer lips. Oh my god. I'd literally just, you know, would, would, oh, it's happening. It's, it's so silicone-y. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's absolutely not the right colour, but that's fine. Um, this is just, that, that was a part of high school. If your foundation was really good, then, then, you know, are you real? So yeah, with, again, no, no eyeshadow, I'd just basically make everything the same shade except my neck. Although, I have to say, like, mine wasn't that bad, like, compared to some others. Even the teachers were like, come on, Becca's isn't even that bad, like, she's good at applying. So I was like, thanks guys. I wasn't, but I think compared to some, maybe I was. Um, oh, this is horrible. I'm sorry if you use this foundation now, but I really don't like it. You might want to try another one. Oh my god, this is the look, isn't it? This is the do you know what? I think it would be it would be fine, a fine foundation, but obviously I've just, you know, gone to the extremes of using quite a lot because this is how we applied it back in the day. And with fingers. So who knows what it would be like now with a brush or a be beauty sponge. Right. So it would look like this. During school. I would pack this concealer in my bag and this is the same one this is the natural collection concealer stick in fair and I'd use this as a lipstick so that because I used to just dip my finger in the pot of Maybelline and be like hmm and that maybe looked weird doing that but I thought because it looks like a lipstick that's gonna be okay so I used to reapply and, uh, with concealer Honestly, why did so many of us do this? And then I'd put co excess concealer up here as well. That's just what I did. Why did so many of us do that? And it dry, it makes your lips so dry. Right, now, there's like three trends in here that we all go through in high school. Now is a shit ton of blush. So I'm not sure what brand of blush it was, probably Rimmel or Tesco or something like that. But we're talking like, a lot of blush. Oh, actually no, let's, let's not bother blending. But as I said, I, okay, I wasn't this bad, but maybe I was, I can't, I, I don't know. But I just remember there being a lot of blush and like you'd see the other girls walking around school with loads of blush on and you'd be like, God, I didn't put enough blush on this morning. Yeah, a lot of blush. Maybe let's just blend that a little bit. There we go. Lots of blush, and then <laughs> here is where I did start to use lash curlers. But I'd also use about seven different mascaras to achieve the spider lash look, which is another trend that we all used to do in year nine. So uh, we're gonna get cracking, and it was basically like we did the 100 layer of mascara challenge every day of school. And I have to say, I used to sleep in my mascara wake up with already on and add more layers for like a few days at a time. How bad is that? It's just because it saved time in the morning. Disgusting. Also what I'd do is I'd get a black coal liner and like dot that under the eye in the lower lash line like so and then like smudge that in with my finger. So as I said I had like 7,000 mascaras and I'd just, I'd just keep going. I'd just keep going. No word of a lie, this is what we were going for. This is what everyone wanted. The spidery, the better. The thicker, the better. The clumpier, the better. Everyone had this basically and uh, we just kept going. We just kept applying and everyone was like, what mascara are you using? Because everyone would use like six and uh, we'd have the bottom lashes and make them into like four lashes. So honestly, all of the blush ever and all of the mascara ever and uh, you were a year nine child at my school. Now at this point I started using powder in my brows and I started using a little natural collection shadow and this is in crushed walnut and I used this for quite a while. Didn't brush through them, I just like added it on with a brush, maybe an angled one, not sure. Didn't really spend too much time on brows and not good. I'm not very good at them now, let's be honest. Uh, but yeah, we just applied 
Well, I did. I say we, I don't know why I'm saying we, but the majority of this makeup, anyway, like all the girls used to wear. Okay, so this is what I would look like. And looking in the viewfinder, I think I need some more blush because we used to wear an awful lot of blush. So uh, let's just put a bit of more on. There we go. And is that that? This is the look. Oh my gosh. I just had an epiphany. Also, everyone used to do this in pictures, including me. Would be like... Or like... Like we'd do a mirror selfie and be like... What's with the hand? I don't know why we did this. Then the final look is more year 10, year 11, and maybe... No, not sixth form. Year 10, 11. So, let's get cracking. Again, dream at me, but I still was using the same brands, the same products. You know the drill. Maybe in and out of concealer lip phase, because I think that it became like a security blanket, a comfort thing, that I just didn't like color on my lips because I was so pale, I didn't want the contrast to be like crazy. So I think I used to just have like a little bit on at the beginning and then add a bit of lip colour but even then it was like pale pink or pale peach or something like that. So I'd also go in with a concealer at this stage as well. The same natural collection concealer that I used to wear on my lips. Hopefully not the exact same one because that would be weird. Um, but I'd, I'd just do this and I'd put some above the eyes as well. Again, no eyeshadow. I mean, eyeshadow is quite a new thing for me. Like when I first started YouTube, you'll know, I didn't know how to do it. So for blush, there was no blush. Instead, I used a bronzer for my blush and I actually did this in the first stages of YouTube as well. Don't know if you'll remember that. This is the Natural Collection Bronzing Powder in Golden Glow. And I put that on with a blush brush and do it like blush. Don't know why. Don't know why, Becca, what are you playing at? But I just remember using this as, as blush instead of actual blush. So I'd look a bit more, you know, glowy. So I guess this was like the first step into contouring. <laughs> Can you believe that like highlight wasn't even a thing? Did anyone even wear highlight at this point? Only in the magazines. But uh, yeah, this was what I did to my cheeks and I'd add more of that during the day. I'd take that to school, I'd add more, I'd do everything. So this also was the time I discovered brow gel. So I would brush through the, gel the brows, sorry. Not as, not how I do them now, because they're more shaped now, but I'd brush through the brows and then I'd use the same natural collection powder which is an eyeshadow. I actually really like this. I also used to use this in the beginning of my YouTube life as well. It's so funny how I used to like get up so early for school and do this and like do my hair and all that. Whereas now I love not wearing makeup and not doing my hair. Like if someone said to me like, oh, you've got to, you know, go and get something from Tesco, I'll just go and do it. Whereas before I'd take like an hour to do everything but I just I just love not having anything on so I doubt I was very good at this point but I used to use this actually with the Topshop Magic Light I don't know if it was called this at this stage but uh, I wasn't that good at it but I'd do it quite thick and then a little wing maybe like that big then I would curl the lashes and use one mascara and I reckon it was probably a L'Oreal oh, actually no it was Rimmel Glam Eyes Day Tonight wasn't it? Oh, I used to love that stuff actually fun fact well, it's not fun at all but at this makeup stage so year 10 and 11 during GCSEs um, this is when I actually developed epilepsy and due to my medication I had some hair loss just at the nape of my neck and um, well like the hair there at the bottom and also my eyelashes like fell out a lot so at this stage I would sometimes wear false eyelashes um, but like the most natural ones that you could get ever and maybe why I hate wearing them now because it just reminds me of that but uh anyways and then I would put a pale pink over the top which would be probably natural collection petal or top shop petal 
Um, I can't find either of them right now, so I'm just gonna put this MAC one on. I absolutely, this is like new to me. Only this year did I buy my first MAC lipstick, so. Yeah, it probably looked like that. And I think I would put a bit more bronzer on as blush because that's just what I did. So uh, yeah. And then when I went into sixth form, that's when I started YouTube. So you can see how I used to do my makeup in sick form. And then obviously you know how it grew then if you've been watching my videos. So that's, that's the final look. Okay guys, back to normal Becca. That is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed taking a little trip down makeup memory lane, literally. And uh, I, lo I do love makeup, but I also love not wearing it. I, uh, I think makeup's fabulous. So, Give me a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. How did you used to do your makeup at high school? How did you used to, what's your first experience with makeup? How does it differ now? Does your makeup now look like any of those looks? If it does, sorry. Um, this is just my little makeup history, but uh, I'm pretty happy with how I do my makeup now, but knowing this, knowing how things go in like three years time, I'll be like, what was I playing it? Especially my eyebrows. I mean, sometimes my eyebrows can go pretty thick. Um, I am very aware of that. I'm gonna go and have a proper deep cleanse now because I feel like I've got some dream matte moves stuck on my face. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!